In this video, I'm going to show you the course reuse functions like import, backup, restore, etc. and show you import function as an example. To find those functions, navigate to the navigation bar in your course and then click on more and then go to course reuse. In this drop down menu, you can find all the functions import, backup, restore, copy course, and reset. Those functions used to be in the gear button or in the action button in the main page of your module or course. Now I will show you the import as an example. And if you need more information about the other functions, you can find that in the staff support page. To import a course, activity, or resources, you, you navigate to um, import page or to course reuse uh, page and then select import and then select the course that you would like to import the material from it. And if you can't find it, you can uh, search. I'm going to take this as an example. MS01 or 001. I can select the course and you can see all the steps, six steps, six main steps to finish this process. So I select the course and then click continue. And then I can select the settings that I would like to import. If I'm importing the course, I can use the default and you can select or deselect whatever you want. But if I would like to uh, import just an activity or resources, I just select an activity or resources. Or if I would like to select, for example, a question bank, just select a question bank and do. But I will proceed as I am going to import the whole course. And then next, the third step, uh, it's um, schema settings. Basically, you need to select uh, the materials that you are interested in to import to your new course and you can deselect a section or you can deselect one of those resources or activity the, and then next this page to confirm and review your selections and by clicking next this time you will perform import and then complete the import i'm not going to do that in this video i just won't show you that. Thank you and bye.